Well, folks, we seem to have a bit of a unusual and possibly different unboxing today. I uh, went down to my post office box and I got uh, two things. One is a parcel and one is a letter. And they both uh, came from Australia. And I don't think I've ever uh, received anything from Australia before, so this might be kind of unique. Anyway, we're going to start with this letter and uh, yeah, we'll go from there and then we'll find out what's uh, in that box. Anyway, let's uh, start off here. That's everything. Hello, Harrison. My name is Quinn. I was bored, so I thought I would send you a letter. I think you're the best uh, YouTuber on YouTube. I hope you're having a good time in these not-so-good times. Uh, I hope all is well in your household. I've been loving your live streams and cannot wait for the next one. I was wondering... Uh, how can I get Pop-Tarts? We don't have them in my country. I live in Australia. Sincerely yours, Quinn. Uh, my Instagram is Quinn the Train Man. Australian 10 cent coin. Well, thank you so much for the uh, letter, Quinn. I'm not sure how you get Pop-Tarts to Australia. I feel like there must be some service. Maybe Amazon. I've noticed you can usually import things uh, through Amazon, so I would uh, check that out. Anyway, uh, here's an Australian... Uh, 10 cent piece. I've never seen one before, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, thank you so much for the letter. Now on to uh, this. <laughs> I really like how uh, this, I think this was all done by hand. Great work. Um, and uh, I just so happened to notice there uh, that it says right here, open on this end. So we're going to do as uh, whoever sent this said there. And uh, open it up. I have no idea what's in this box. I don't remember anybody saying anything about uh, sending anything so yeah I'm not sure looks like we got a letter here okay uh, dear SMT here's a locomotive I think you will like uh, it's just been sitting in its box up on a shelf and it's barely been run hope you're keeping well and safe uh, happy late birthday from Saxton L's, aka Southern Aussie Train Spotter. P.S. Here's a case with a couple of figures for your layout. Well, thank you so much. Here's the uh, letter for anyone who wants to read that themselves. Anyway, let's uh, have a look here. It's been not quite touched up. Huh. I guess these are the figures. Sort of cool, some various figures. I'm sure we can find uh, spots to put those on the layout. We got another one, or is that just bubble wrap? I don't know. Huh. Still have no idea what's in this. Well, I have no idea what it is, but it's from Broadway Limited. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, oh, it's been taped up on the sides. Let's just take care of that. Wow. This is so cool, I've never seen a locomotive quite like it before. It, it looks like, see like I want to say an AC4400, I don't know, does it say on the box? No idea what this is. I've never seen the railroad either, let's take this thing out here. What a beautiful locomotive. Wow. 
I'm not sure if this is an Australian railroad. This looks, I know Australia uses a lot of locomotives that are similar to what we use here in North America. I think maybe it's, this is, I, I've never seen this railroad before, so I can't tell, but uh, I can, uh, it's a beautiful locomotive in, uh, in any case. I love it. So thank you so much for sending this. I think we have to take this thing over to the track and uh, test it. I, wow. I really can't believe this. Absolutely incredible. Just can't believe somebody would go and, uh, and send this thing. All right, so I know I said I was gonna take this thing over to the track to test it, and I definitely will, but uh, the detail on this thing, I was just so blown away by it that I wanted to make sure I was doing it justice with the video here, so here's a little bit more of an in-depth shot of the locomotive. I uh, did some research and I discovered that this locomotive is uh, an AC6000, which is a uh, kind I've never heard of. I assume it's similar to like an AC4400, it certainly looks kind of similar, but uh, upon closer inspection I did notice a few small details which are different. Um, and uh, yeah, this locomotive in fact operates in Australia, making it the very first Australian locomotive in my entire collection and possibly the first on this entire channel, so that's sort of unique. Anyway, uh, I just I just love the paint scheme on it. It's a gorgeous paint scheme. Uh, I'm a big fan of the color blue, so this just stripe uh, with uh, mostly blue engine. I, I find that it just looks really sharp. And uh, this is one thing I noticed. Uh, AC4400s, the radiator, I don't think uh, sticks out this far, so that's one thing that uh, did kind of stand out to me. But uh, yeah, it's just a great looking uh, locomotive. Really, really well done. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I also really like the, uh, even the logo on it and stuff like that. It's just an overall really good looking locomotive. I mean, it's, it's well modeled, but it's also even in real life, like this is just a locomotive that I think looks really slick. Anyway, why don't we take this thing over to the track and test it? So we've got this thing all set up on the track and I've got to say it looks just as fantastic set up on the track, if not even better. Um, anyway, let's try to start this thing. Uh, I have no idea what it's addressed to. Ho hopefully it's either the number of three, I'm not really sure. But there's only one way to find out. So we're gonna go over to my uh, controller here and uh, turn on the power. I'm not hearing anything from it, but I do see that we have a uh, rear light and front lights as well. So let's try some uh, stuff here on the controller. I guess we'll start off with uh, three which is usually the default address. And it doesn't seem to be responding, so it could be set to its road number, which is uh, 6071. So let's try that. 6071. Forward there. And it still doesn't seem to want to start, so I might need to do a, a decoder reset, because honestly, I have no idea what else it could be. I mean, it uh, could be basically one in nine, one in 10,000 pretty much of uh, just guessing it. So I'm gonna reset the decoder and then we'll uh, try this again. Okay, so we're now gonna try to rewrite the decoder here. So we're gonna put my controller into the program mode. Click the steps key. I got it set to eight, so steps again, eight. And CV right. And uh, it should be now set back to the original, so. Let's bring this thing back over to the track. Get its wheels on. And now for the moment of truth. So take it out of the program mode here. Power back into the track. Oh, look at that. Very cool. This is just incredible. I really can't believe this. So we've now got this thing set up and running around in the opposite direction with an entire train behind it. And I've got to say, what a cool looking locomotive. I mean, I've always wanted an Australian locomotive and I never would have guessed somebody would have just gone ahead and send one as they did. So uh, Saxonides, if you're watching this, first of all, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But thank you so much for sending this locomotive. It was just exceedingly generous for you to do so. 
and uh, I can't thank you enough for it. This thing is just so cool. So thank you so so much. I really do like the locomotive. Every the locomotive itself is really cool, and the paint scheme on it is also just awesome. So thank you so much. Anyway, I think I'm gonna finish off the video now. I want to thank you all so much for watching.